Steve, it's a hot one out here, and we're seeing school districts go to great lengths to make sure student athletes are safe. We're at Jordan High School, and you can see these tennis courts behind me here uh, are pretty much empty. That's because according to the district standard, it's too hot to practice outside. It's not lunchtime. And no, this isn't the cafeteria. It's the athletic department at Jordan High School. It definitely impacts what we're going to do today. And that's Sarah Bell, the certified athletic trainer on site, preparing ice water and cooling towels for practice. On days like today, when it's a scorcher, it's her job to make sure students are safe. So you can see it's 97.9 .9 straight temperature. Then we have the humidity, which is 51%. The heat index is already at 115. And that's why she took me outside to show me how she measures heat, humidity, and sunlight, gauging if student athletes will practice outdoors or not. But we do have a mandate from the district this because of the suspected heat today that no teams will be able to go out until 6 o'clock. It's gruesome, kind of. Soccer player Micah Davis hydrates throughout the day ahead of practicing in extreme heat. It's hard to stay out. There's no shade usually around the soccer field, too. I know the football players probably feel the same way and they do but football player Kamari Blue says he's conditioned himself to deal with these difficult conditions I'm trying to stay focused on what like what I got to do on the field and like trying to like do my job on the field so I can help my team and even as temperatures cool off and outdoor practice happens trainer Bell says she's always looking for signs of heat exhaustion in hopes of preventing heat stroke we have the ice bags, we have the ice towels, we have the electrolytes available there, um, and getting them in a shaded area. So really trying to cool their body down as quickly as possible. All right, and back out here live, uh, the school district says student safety is a top priority. That's why a soccer game here at Jordan High School was canceled because of the heat. We're live in Durham, Akilah Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.